All right, in today's video, I am going to demonstrate how to fix a screen that has a distorted resolution, which uh, I was suffering with on this PC uh, just a couple of days ago. And uh, almost decided to go out and buy a new video card. Thought the video card had gone bad, but uh, actually did discover the reason. So my particular problem when I was going into the display settings, instead of having the native resolution of 1366 by 768, which is recommended for this monitor, I was only having two options, the 1024 by 768 and the 800 by 600. So, um, made my screen look something like this with a really stretched out uh, display. Um, didn't look good at all. I'll show you kind of, so you can see how the icons are much bigger. But then when I was going to my display settings, it didn't have the options. It just had these two right here. 1366 by 768 is the correct one. We're gonna keep that. So that would be the first thing you'd wanna look at if you notice your screen is off, is, is making sure this didn't get changed from your recommended setting. But in my case, did not have that option. So as a solution, you go here to your start menu, and this is Windows 10, obviously. Uh, you go to your settings. Okay. You go over to your devices. Okay. And you're going to go into over here to device manager. So this option right here, right in the corner, device manager. And you can get to this more than one way, but this is how I get to it. So you're going to click on the device manager. And at this point, you're going to pull up all of these different options. I'll make it big for you. And you're going to see you've got different, um, different options here. So we're going to look at the display adapters. And you're going to see I have the ATI Radeon HD 3200 graphics. Um, this is just an integrated onboard graphics. Uh, came with this PC. Um, this is not you know, a gaming PC or anything of that nature. Just a, a general home use computer. Um, but if you click on this, and you're going to right click it, and click on this update driver. All right, and then it's going to give you an option. How do you want to search for drivers? And you can search automatically for updated driver software or browse my computer for drive. So you're going to want to choose option two here, browse my computer for driver software. And you're going to click on this. And then ignore this section here. You want to click this option that says, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And you're going to click this. So this one, what was chosen for me was this Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. And I'm pretty certain that what happened was when I had the most recent Windows 10 update, for some reason it changed the setting to this Microsoft Basic Display Adapter instead of my, my graphics cards. That or this recent update up here um, of, that was done on July 25th. Um, 2017. I, I don't know which one, but what you're going to want to do is roll it back to the very original graphics version to solve this issue. So you're going to click this one here and you're going to hit next. And I've already done this, so I, I'm not going to do it again, um, but it's going to basically install that driver back to your computer. It's going to restore it back to uh, this date. And you're gonna see your screen flicker a couple times black. That's uh, totally normal. And then when it's done, your computer will automatically pick up the display settings and have the resolution at your recommended resolution instead of the option where it just had 1024 uh, and 800 by 600, which are gonna have a very stretched out appearance. Um, I wanted to share this video. I couldn't find anything like it online and um, you know, graphics drivers, uh, unless you need one or you prefer not to buy one, and, and this was a pretty easy solution um, to get it fixed, but it, it did take me uh, several hours to 
to figure this out. So again, I'll, I'll show you. You go to here, go to your settings, click on your devices, go to your device manager, pick out display adapters, click on your graphics card, Oops, right click that, update driver, browse my computer, let me pick from a list, and then again, pick your most recent, or your oldest one that is made for your graphics card. I hope this helps some folks out there, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll try my best to help you out.